Hello, hello everyone! It's Willowheart here. Hope everyone is having a lovely day. Alright. Is it working now? Yes, now it's working. Welcome back, Teak. Huge. Perfect. Yep, I'm currently in the game right now. Gotcha. Alright. Let's see what server we're gonna jump in. Alright. Let's see, is there a decent server size? Ah, Crystal One. Oh. Last time I was in the game, I was hanging out with two devs. Oh, nice. Or less devs, more mods, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think one, if they're watching this, hi, Blade. Hi, Sika. We are in Crystal One. There we go. Now we let the folks know. All right, if I can uh, get in. There we go. I was hoping there was a dev in the game. There's no dev in the game. Oh, well. Oh, I just, <laughs> I just spawned in the tree. <laughs> Amazing. Uh... <laughs> Guess it's <laughs> I just spawned in the tree. Up oh, there we go. There we go. Hello, my dears. Come together, y'all, for a cold chant. Oh no, the cold chant has begun. Oh yeah, someone's saying the server is full, even though there's only uh twenty six. Yeah, just to keep going, you may appear in, or you're just probably the loading could be bad. I don't know. It happens to be too sometimes. Probably just the server being weird. Sacrifice the kids. Oh no, there's someone who's a fan of that Roblox gameplay video. Sacrifice the kids. Sacrifice the kids. Sacrifice the kids. Hello, hello, my dears. Welcome, welcome. Look at all y'all soap wings. So gorgeous. Oh, thank you. I love you guys, too. Hello, hello, dears. Hello there, Silky. Oh, look at everyone. Oh, look, there's someone else that's also Willow. The one of the mobile. Hello, there are two Willows. I remember making a reference that's like, well, technically you and me could both use our, the first part of our usernames as actual leafling names. It makes sense. You, the first part of your name is a type of leafling name. Sorry, you cut off. What were you saying? First part of our usernames could be leafling names. Yeah, because I'm Blossom. This one I named this one Blossom. See, this is my OC leafwing Blossom. I'm able to join in now. Oh, good. I am bright yellow. You're bright yellow? Oh, no. Oh, is that you? Oh, wait, no, that's a Skywing. It is a Skywing. I am a Skywing. Oh, you are? Is that you? We love OCs. Of course we love giving our OCs trauma and lore. Amen to that. <laughs> that is so true. Your OCs beautiful. Aw, oh, thank you. We have OC two- OC is prepared without trauma. Yep, <laughs> I'm- OC is truly complete. I even gave many of my OCs in my upcoming project Fair Heart trauma too. <laughs> it's what makes the stories better. Uh, to be honest, Blossom was like a hybrid. Oh yeah, I know, because of the dark scales. I mean, 
I've actually been considering that. Yeah, like maybe I don't know. Like she could be kind of partially Nightwing-ish. Probably had like a parent that's a Nightwing and another a Leafwing, so that could work out. I think that's a cool idea. I've always just been iffy with um, a double continent hybrid. Like, are there any of the three from Pantala being hybrids with the any of the seven from Tyria? Because it's always weird. Story. Yeah, that oh, my frames. That or I have or that or my uh, uh, leaf wing has a mutation. True. So her mutation could be that her scales are darker, and so she's kind of somewhat an outcast because of it. Because you know leaf wings are usually green, and she's like kind of a dark, dark reddish color. Meanwhile, I could pass off my Skywing as part Sandwing, but I don't, because the gold is a nice color. Also, you kind of can't get this gold anymore. Oh, yeah. Was that, the, it, was that before they fixed the color patches on that one, or were you lucky to keep it? I was lucky to keep it. Ah, oh, that's nice. Yeah, it looks really good. If I remember, uh, it was... As rare, if not rarer, than black on rain wings. But now that black on rain wings are back, this gold is like super rare. Yeah, behold Just the perfect. rare golden uh, skywing right here. The rare golden skywing. Teak. You have no, you have no idea how many times people say, "Wait, isn't pyrite female?" Because pyrite is a book character, and pyrite yeah. is also known as fool's gold. Yeah, you're like fool's gold. Ah, oh, hail the fool's gold, Teak. <laughs> Can I touch it? You turn to gold if you touch my scales. Also, I am on uh, Crystal One is the server name. Also, if you look on the bottom right below the chat box, you'll see my uh, Roblox username. You can use that to come and find me in game. Turns gold. Leafwing gold. Ooh, that would be a cool color. If the server wasn't full, I'll bring out my Leafwing because I have a gold Leafwing. Oh! Now we must see this. Now, well, I named my my leafwing turmeric. Turmeric. Oh, that's a pretty cool name. Oh, he's gonna get his leafwing. He'll be right back. Yep. I have my first one is named nettle after stinging nettle, and the other one is named turmeric after a type of bush. Yeah, Teak will be back. Uh, she'll be right back. She's just gonna switch on her, uh, uh is, wait, Ice Wing? Or, no, it's a Leaf Wing. Leaf Wing, yeah. Yeah, Leaf Wing. Her golden Leaf Wing. It's an orangey yellow. The roars? I know, I know Bellasaur says it's like after a woman scream, but it's, um, it is so creepy. Like, just imagine you're walking in the dark forest at night. Let's say you're like in the Leafwing territory, and then all of a sudden you hear that. Like, that's terrifying. I mean, you're not far off because the Leafwings do live in a very poisonous jungle. Yeah, and you hear that. That's kind of scary. In the uh, book, there's a quote in the uh, guidebook that specifically said. If it can survive in the poison jungle, then it's not something you want to mess with. Yeah. Oh, yes, I love the leaf speech. Oh, I spawned on the rock. I spawned a tree! I summoned the tree! I, pressed one and I was like, wait, where is everyone? We're still at the same spot. Look at us, we're just creating life. I'm honestly excited for the updates uh, continuing on for the Wings of Fire, um, uh, for the development for this beta game. Like, not the fact they say it's now beta. Hold on, let me just, let me turn Person off any- Seven no longer is on the server list. Wait, hold on. Wait, sorry. 
Uh, wait, sorry, what'd you say? Crystal 7 is no longer on the server list, so I can't find the server list. <laughs> what? No. Once a server is full for a long time, I guess they just take it off the server list. Oh, rip, we destroy that. Okay, uh, we may need to switch servers. Okay, guys, sorry. We are switching servers. Yeah, we're gonna switch servers. Um, sorry, y'all. Okay. Let's try to get a different server. Maybe we can find a server, um... Let's see. Let's see, um... That's always why it's such a problematic thing to switch OCs in-game, especially when we're streaming, because the server gets full so fast. Yeah, that is true. Be best to pick a character and stick with it for the rest of the stream. Okay, Deathbringer, Deathbringer 15. Is yeah. I know. <laughs> They're ready for it. Oh my gosh! Here they come. <laughs> yep. Oh my gosh! You guys are ready for it. I'm getting on the rock. Oh, ooh. Oh yeah. Here they come. My OC name is Bamboo. Oh, there's another Bamboo. What's up? I am, I am bringing the temptation of the Bamboos. Until we meet again. Bamboo 2024. Sacrifice the children. Arena, arena cause it's more open. Yeah. To the arena. To the arena. I can't tell if this OC is more gold or more orange. I think it's more orange. I'll have to get a better look. Let's just head to the arena. Look, here comes the dragons. <gasps> here they come. <laughs> Fly, my children. Fly. Fly to the arena. Incoming. <laughs> it's literally an incoming. Ta-da. Oh, yeah, where are you? Is that you? In front of me? The one named Tumeric, yes. Oh, that's a nice orange color. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a. Yeah, it is kind of like an orange color, but that's pretty cool. Hello. The people are like, what the heck? The people who are here before, who aren't in the stream are like, what in the world? I know, they're seeing your character like, what? Leaf wings are overpowered. How many dragons just came out of nowhere. Yeah, I think we startled them by surprise. Yeah, if there was a roleplay here, uh, we can move to another spot. We didn't mean to disrupt it. There's been a roleplay going on here. Talk pile. Is this what it's like being a celebrity? Yep. Pretty much. Let's move to the throne room. Uh, let's go to the Q. Let's go to the uh, Q and A room. To the Q&A room. Yeah, we're gonna move to the Q&A room. Follow me, my children. Excuse me. Yeah. We're just gonna chill in here. Hello, my dears. Also, don't forget, in the description, um, in the description, we have um, our Q&As. So if you have any questions, please type it there. We're just going to be a chill stream, so y'all can just chill and game, relax. And um, the Q&A will be in there, and I'll answer questions in there. Let me just type it in, in game for those that are not on the stream. Check out my stream. Willow Heart. In the description is Q&A. If you have a question, type your questions there. Yeah, there we go.
Already watching the eyes. Will Harcourt. Yeah, it feels like a Will Harcourt to this point. <laughs> Why well, summon a tree? Oh no, I summoned a little fern. <laughs> I'm watching a stream. Nice. Oh yeah, I love the flowers. The flowers are cute. We're just gonna summon growth in the building. Willow, can I add you? Yeah, you can add me. I do have a limited friend list thing, though. <laughs> it's what happens with your celebrity. Willow, can I be food for you? Um, no, that's kind of weird. <laughs> How in the heck do we make salad if we are the salad? That's a good question. If you have a question, uh, type it in the uh, Q&A session. If you have a question, go to the Q&A session link in description. This description. There we go. All right, let me see if we have any questions in there. Um, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it up and see if we get some questions. Oh, wait, hold on. Give me a moment. Let me go to my forms. Surprised nobody's using rain wings considering the new edition. Right? Yeah, with the whole bl uh, black rain wings and all. All right. Okay, uh, first question. Hi, Willow. This is Starflight Fan. My question for the day is, if you had to bring back one Warrior Cats alive again, who would it be? Also, no parody, sadly. Um, ooh, that's a good question. Um, Fireheart or Firestar. Ooh. He's, he's, the, he's the OG. Like, after, honestly, my opinion, after, after Firestar died... My excitement for the story hasn't been the same because I've loved I love Firestar. Like he was a pretty good he was a pretty good character and I pretty much grew up with Fire. I I pretty much grew up with this character, you know, since the first book came out. So when he, you know, officially died died, I was um depressed. Oh. Yeah, he no, he died back in like in um The Final Hope or The Last Hope. Oh dang. Yeah, so that's like a while back. It's understandable. Have you read uh, Warrior Cats? I've read a bit of it. I will say my favorite character is friends with Fireheart's dad. Or less friends, more like friends with benefits. They really like each other in air quotes romance. Who? Who, wait, what? Uh, they were. So, you know who Fireheart's dad is, right? Yes, Jake. And who did Jake have a romantic relationship with? <laughs> Tallstar. It's yeah, it's it's implied is with Tallstar. That's why when Tallstar first, I think I believe I think it. I don't know if um, um, Aaron Hunter's made it like canon or not, but I feel but I feel like when Tallstar first time saw Fireheart, he saw Jake in him, and so that's why he's so friendly towards Fires Fireheart then because it's like to him, you know, that's like his son. If I remember, that's why if I remember Star Clan said, uh, "Cat will need your help, kin of your dearest friend." Very wholesome. Yes, very wholesome indeed. And I think I don't know if it's Ken or not that Tall Star can still see Jake whenever he wants to. I don't know. Bow to Willow now. Yes, my children, bow, bow with before me. <laughs> I do like the detail though, where in if I remember, didn't All Star never had kids with any any she just because like his heart was given to one person. One yeah, I believe so. Person. Yeah, he he never had any kids, which I think that's sweet. Okay, next question is, um, what evil character would you bring back to Wings of Fire? Ooh. 
Oof, this is a hard one. <laughs> I haven't read far. I mean, okay, I'll say this. I'll say this. This is because of my lemon knowledge with the Wings Fire thing. I know, I'm terrible. I'm sorry. In real life is a pain. Um, I don't know. Y'all can hate me for this, but Whirlpool. I mean, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Yes, he is a disgusting character. But honestly, if they gave the dude more time to develop Whirlpool, he would actually be pretty interesting. A pretty interesting villain. I just think they... If they didn't make him creepy and actually made him, like... I don't know. It's like, I feel like if if Whirlpool was a less creepy, more kind of kind of like scheming, conniving, like all that kind of thing, I think he would be um, a pretty interesting villain. That's just me. How dare you say it? Okay, uh, we can call him Whirlpool. How about that? <laughs> I could choose three from each arc. Do it. Arc one, it's a hard one. Uh, battle winner. For arc one, it's battle winner because cause how she died is kind of interesting. She kind of got oh, by glory. yes, battle winner. Oh, yes, I see. Yes, for arc one. Yes, actually, for arc yeah, two. no, that actually makes sense. I wish battle winner sticked to, uh, was alive a little longer. Arc two is hard because I can't say I want to bring Vulture back to life because it's I'm not even sure if he's really dead. Uh, Darkstalker just said control alt delete and he vanished. Control alt delete. <laughs> <laughs> Probably he That's did. Really what he said. D Darkstalker told Vulture to in air quotes go away and he just vanished. <laughs> oh my. Okay, now back to Battle Winner. Okay, I will say this. If she wasn't if she wasn't like shot in the mouth with that whole ice wing um Ice wing, uh, cold breath or freezing breath that wasn't in the volcano, she would probably be, um, pretty OP if she wasn't, like, you know, had a death wish on her. Yeah, she was only in the lava, though, because of the ice wing breath, if I remember. Yes, because, yeah, because I think it's like the ice wing, like, breathed into her mouth, and, you know, that's why she was stuck in that, um, the boiling lava thing. Now, if I were to re resurrect the villain from Arc 3, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure Wasp is still alive, so she doesn't count. I might say Hawthorne. Ha uh, Hawthorne? Just, yeah, Hawth if Hawthorne, pretty much, he was the, under the control of the Breath of Evil for so long, it's actually crazy. And her, the Breath of Evil said itself that Hawthorne would remain under control of the Breath of Evil until his bones couldn't be moved anymore. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, Hawthorne was such a waste of potential. Yeah, the fans agree, too. That's such a cool aesthetic, because he's a leaf wing with snakes around his, uh... He just has a bunch of snakes around him. Ooh. Vote Willow as president of the USA. <laughs> I don't know if I can take that stress, true, to be honest. I don't think I can take that stress. Cash um, is busy, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, what happened to Cash. Oh, yeah. Ca yeah, yeah, what happened to Cash? Yeah, he's... Around, maybe. Yeah, Cash is busy. Also, yeah. Phoenix is not going to be around. I think she's going to be late. Or she may make it or not. It depends. Um, so, it depends. If she comes, more than likely Cash may jump in. Um, hello, this is... a. Uh, Dixon, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Who's your favorite and least favorite Wings of Fire character? Oof. Uh, Oof. Like, like I said, I haven't read past book three, so I, I'm very limited. So, I mean, Tsunami's all right. I would say Tsunami's a pretty good character that I like. My least favorite character, Whirlpool. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. What about you, T? My favorite character is so hard because I, it, there are so many characters I can choose from. Literally, I've read all the books, including the Wingless and the Guidebook. If I had to choose, though, Chameleon has to be my favorite next to, like, Vulture. Uh, my least favorite? This is going to seem out of nowhere. Either Tamarin or Anem Anemone. Yeah, they butcher poor Dedemi in Arc 2. 
Anemone was fine in Arc 1, but she becomes a spoiled brat in Arc 2. Yeah, that's why they may butcher her in Arc 2. Let's see. Next is, um... One says, um... If you could bring back one of the Dragons of Destiny's Guardians from the dead, which would it be? Hitarv, Asha, Kestrel, or Dude? Is it Hiftar? I hope I pronounced that right. Hiftar? I'm pretty sure it's pronounced like Vitter. Vitter? Vitter? Okay. Yeah. Honestly, in my personal Sorry. opinion, I would love to see Hivitter more. So, um, I would say Hivitter. Or Hifter. I'm sorry, I'm mispronouncing that. I mean, because he ha he could have had a good potential. Like he would have been a pretty interesting character to see more developed. So I would say um, Hifter. I I would have liked to see Asha just because we would get more Mudwing content. Yeah, that is true. I don't know why Mudwings are so I hated. I think Asha is um, Clay's aunt. Yeah. Like, I, that's kind of sad what they did with the whole, uh, it's kind of funny that Tuli said that, uh, Clay is her favorite, yet Mudwings are, you know, not liked in the series. It's kind of sad. We have yet to get a Mudwing book. That's how much we, they don't like Mudwings. We need a Mudwing book, please! We need a Mudwing book. We do. Um... Another question. Um, hello, I hope your day is good. Here's my question. If you had to choose a tribe to win the war between Ice and Nightwings, who would you choose? Oof, this is a hard one. Yeah, they're both pretty good, but if you think of environment-wise, Ice Wings. Because the Ice Wings have a set environment, and they're kind of untouchable with the ice cliff up, but it's not up anymore. Oh, wait, no, I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, no, it's okay. I'm not gonna really read much of the arcs anyway, because real, because uh, life can be a little bit too busy for me to read. So, um, right. uh, I, I, yes, Nightwings do have a pretty good vantage when it comes to seeing the future and all this stuff. But honestly, the Ice Wings is like the Sea Wings. Like, if you go to like the Ice Wing territory, you're gonna have to face the risk of being frozen to death. And they can use their environments to get away with things and to kind of like, I don't know, like use the environment against their enemies. So if I had to, would have to guess Ice Wings. What about you? Uh, for me, yeah, I'd say Ice Wings too. Yeah, and they're Icy Breath too. And the fact they can use Icy Breath, which let's just say almost caused the death of their leader. Yeah, that says a lot. That says a lot. Um, next, uh, next question. Again, if you have any questions, go to the description in the, uh, live stream and answer your questions there. Um, uh, who's your favorite queen? This is from Knox. The, I, actually, I, I know one of my favorite queens and I'm about to post a meme in the, uh, what's it called? Discord. Oh no, what is it? It's one, it's one of the queens from book three. Is it is it Blaze? It's not Blaze. Blister? Look look at the Discord and you'll see. Oh no. <laughs> Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> oh fucky queen, man, you just killed my vibe. <laughs> yes. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh gosh, that's funny. I love it. Server is a uh, Deathbringer. Uh, server is Deathbringer. Eleven. Fifteen. Fifteen. Deathbringer. Fifteen. Deathbringer. Fifteen. Willow be dying in stream. I feel like I'd be dying every day. <laughs> uh, it's a mood, though. Uh, whilst, whilst Blaze is cute and likable. Yeah, Blaze is cute and likable. 
saw someone mentioning like Blaze has an IQ of negative six and she uses it wisely. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> no. Oh gosh. Excuse me, sorry, I had a I had a bit of a big yawn right there. No one's appearing for me. We are um we are in the dining room slash Willow's uh Q and A room. So we're up here. We'll probably go back down to the arena here shortly and hang out there for people to find us. Oh no, I started Why? No, Johnny. I don't know if you're running. Damn it, guys. Oh, now you're laughing. Aha, uh -huh, very funny. This is Willow's yeah, dynasty. There's a pure black rain wing. Oh, yeah, there is. Pure black rain wing. Ooh, look at you. Wow, it is a thing. Considering making a night rain hybrid with that name, just a bunch of different colors, mainly. <laughs> Take it, guys. You're making me on. <laughs> what? No, it doesn't sound like yawning. It sounds like you're moaning, like yours, queen. <laughs> oh no! Don't forget about me. I am black. Stop it, guys! I can't stop yawning. <sighs> Oh, damn it, guys. <laughs> oh. Okay, what's another question? Let's see. <laughs> oh, they're going to continue this. <laughs> All right, let's see who the next question is. Um, let's see. Uh... Morse here or blister? Please shout me out as milkshake. Hello, milkshake. Um, Morse here, Blister. Morris here. You want to know why? Ooh. He's big. He's huge. He's probably been fighting longer than uh, than Blister. There's that. However, Blister could be more nimble and more agility. Plus, she does have a stinger, so all she would have to do is sting Morse here once. And, you know, he's in trouble unless he gets cactus. But you yeah, also the head cannon that larger the dragon, the longer it takes for the venom to act. Exactly. So, in my personal opinion, it's Morris here, because think about it. If he he he'll have to do is just grab blister, grab blister once, and that's the end. Literally, he can crush her skull. Think about it. If you think about it. Moon Watcher is technically supposed to be as big as uh, the father, Morophir, because of that one thing. So most likely, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw, what's it called, fan art of Kibli and Moon, and Moon is much taller than Kibli is because she has the genes for it, technically. Well, yes, that and has been canon in the Warrior Cats uh, graphic novels that Silverstream is big and buff, thanks to her dad. So, you know, it's funny because people on the internet has been shipping the idea of Silverstream being bigger than Grace Drive is kind of like the whole big mama energy. So, I guess, no, now you're going to you're going to feed the fans and now there's going to be the big uh, moon watcher um, energy. <laughs> Silver is buff. Yes, silver is buff. Now you're going to feed everyone. They're going to say now moon watcher is buff or or moon watcher has mama energy. Time. Serena, oh, you in the arena? Okay, I guess we're going to the arena. Arena time. Let's go to the arena, guys. I've always seen the suggestions for the uh, game now that people are like make the wings for um, the leaf wings more round in game because they're not like leaf shaped. But it's if I remember, that's how as round as they're gonna get. Yeah, I really hope. Oh, here they all come! Oh my gosh, they're all coming down. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> da, 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 Look at, look at them all coming down. Yeah, I really, 
I don't know if they're gonna continue improving the leaf wing model. Like, I would love to see like the leaf wings uh wing design if they can. I mean, if they can, it's. I mean, I mean, look at the hive. I mean, look at the hive wings. Look at how unique their wings are. Surely you'll think maybe they'll kind of tweak and fix up the leaf wings uh wings probably sooner or later. I think the reason the wings for the silk wing and the hive wing are round is because they're actual plates and models and not meshes. Yeah. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, look at this leaf wings coloring. Oh my gosh. Ooh, where? Over here. This is gorgeous. Hello, you got some nice colorings. It's like a rainbow in. Watched our role play. Eh. <laughs> the rain rainbow one? I'm pretty sure that's a leaf wing. No, that's not a leaf yeah. I'm pretty sure that's a No, it's a rain wing. wing. It's a rain wing. Pretty sure that's a rain So pretty. I am streaming. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, Jane's how beautiful. Oh, look at everyone. We're probably making this Rain Wings Day. <laughs> yeah, did I said, um, yeah, I, I actually caught a leaf wing. So sorry. But I love the coloring nonetheless. It's gorgeous. Nothing really. You didn't miss much. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you did a little, a little uh, glitch thing. Yeah, it's because the leaf wings, for some reason, their collisions are not perfect. So if you dive into the ground, <laughs> hold on, let me do it. Hold on, <laughs> hold on, let me do it real quick. Here we go. We. Oh wait, I I pulled up too soon. I pulled up a little too soon. Hold on, I'm gonna dive. Wee, boom! Oh, I didn't do it that time. Huh. Doesn't happen all the time. Yeah, oh, that's true. <laughs> oh gosh! Oh. <laughs> now everyone's just die bombing. Oh gosh! Let's not let's not be suicidal, guys. Now. <laughs> if I remember, it only works for leaf wings. Yeah. Alright, let's see if there's any more questions. Let's see, any more questions? Um, uh, let's see. Cottonmouth, Lizard, Freedom, or Wasp? I don't know those characters, so I can't answer that question. Um, I'm, a, I'm gonna say now, Lizard and Freedom are the same character. <laughs> oh, they are. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's a that's a minor uh, oversight. Lizard and Freedom are the same character. Ooh, I see. Let's see. Oh, I'm we got to go in a hole. Okay, question here is: Do you think Silk Wings should be able to make Earth Silk? Oh wait, oh wait, ugh, I read that wrong. Uh, do you think Silk Wings should be able to make Earth Silk and Water Silk? Uh, what? So they're just what? So they're just the avatar. <laughs> the avatar. Well, uh, are we? Do we guys want to go to the beach? What's going on? Okay, to the beach. Okay, we're good. I guess we're gonna go to the beach. Let's do it. Um, earth silk and and water silk. Well. I guess it could make sense because I mean, uh, wait, silk or wait, silk wings. Oh, silk wings. I was thinking leaf wings. Um, well, I don't know how a silk wing could do mess with the earth and water when it's silk. That's like from their own bodies because like they produce silk. So I don't know if that would really work or not. I think it's because they just. It's because they can make, like, flame silk, which is literally just silk, but burning. Yeah, like, they make their silk, like, flammable. I mean, if you think about it, they could just wrap up a dragon at silk wing, and then, bam, burn them to death. <gasps> Ooh, your color variation, your palette, uh, this- <gasps> This is the age thing? Wait, she's smaller! 
Is it the age thing? Stop. <gasps> oh my gosh, she is so cute. Oh, I love the gear and everything. Wait, wait. is this a developer? I, I don't remember this it armor set. Oh goodness, is it who I think it is? You're so tiny, like, are you a developer? You have to be de de a developer, the, the, the age thing. It? I don't know! Are you a developer? I'm, that's why I'm looking at what's it called? Uh, Lux. <gasps> L Lux? Lux? Is it, uh, wait. must be appearing offline. So it is a developer. Or is it admin? Oh, is it admin? Oh, we got an admin! Hello! We got an admin! Hello! They must have saw my posting about the stream thing I'm doing. Yeah, guys, step back. Step back, guys. So she can breathe. <gasps> that is so cute! Not like, not like we've been able to breathe in the first place, but that makes sense. Yeah, guys, step back. Step back, guys. Step back. Step back so we can get a good look at her. Step back. Oh, the glasses are cool addition. I know. From what I can also see, a blow darts on the arm. Yeah, I can see them too. Oh, she is gorgeous. Now we can be able to see her properly. Oh, she is so gorgeous. I love your character. I... Oh, it's a dance. It's a dance. It's a dance. It's a dance. Oh, is that another one? Oh, I think that's- Oh, wait, it's a size- Wait, is that another one with her? What? Oh my god, the night wings. It's delayed for me, but thank you. Guys, step seen... back. Guys, step back. Guys, step back. I've seen dragonets of the rain wing variety. I have never seen any other tribe. Even Guys. Though, if I remember, Sika said they can do it for all of them. Guys, back away. Take some back. She needs some air. Please step back, y'all. If y'all want to properly see her, y'all need to get off her. Oh. Willow be screaming like, Oh, it's cute! It's dancing! And she's so tiny! Don't the admins have like a special room? Why don't we just TP there? It's okay, you guys can do what y'all are doing. It's okay. I know, I'm sorry. It's just that we want to get a good look at you because it's the, t it's the smaller figure and all that such. So if cute. I, could my mud wing, I would show truly how small it, small it can get. Yeah, it's like the glasses. Oh, it's a flower crown. Oh, it's a flower crown. Oh, I just re realized the flower crown. Flower crown, glasses, uh, earring, uh, horn bands, and two bracelets. Yes. Oh. Oh. You have a very gorgeous OC. I don't know what your name, your uh, uh, or Lux. I mean Lux. Gorgeous name. We love it. I always oh, love I it when an. Get you the horn rings. Oh, I, I need, need to, to get yeah. you those two horn rings. I need. I, I have some jewelry. I just have horn rings. Oh, you are so cute! It makes me so excited when uh, when I play like these Wings of Fire games or something. And the admin or um, the developer joins in. It. it just it just makes my day. <laughs> it just makes my day. The this rain wings. Be, this is the third or fourth admin I've interacted with this week. Yeah, it's crazy. I think. I don't know if they're being a, uh, or if they're trying to be more interactive with fans. If that's so good, good job on them. Ah, uh, I cannot see a thing. I know, but ah, uh, she's so cute. I love it, Lux. I actually really li like the white, orange, and red because it's not like most rain wings now who just have black on top of a different color. So. Very cool. Remember when that admin joined in the Towns of Destiny, Willow? Oh, yes. Yes. Speaking about that one, okay, I'll give you kind of a summary of what happened on that one. So we were in the Towns of Destiny stream, uh, doing a, not stream, we were doing a gameplay. And this was like um, a couple weeks back. And um, Dev uh, dev joined us, Bellasaurus joined in, and some other devs. And then it was chaos. Like they started dropping boats. They started dropping boats in like a seesaw. Yeah, we have a video. Yeah, speak, speaking about that video, we're sorry that it's late, but it's coming out this week. Our editor actually came back from his trip, 
So he's going to fix some things up, and we will be releasing it this week. So keep an eye on it. It's going to be wild. Like, it's going to be wild. Can't tell who they're crowding around now, Willow or the admin. I don't know either. Also, just shout out to Sam, the best YouTuber. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, so okay, don't be rude about it. We're just hanging out here. Uh, did the dev left? I don't know if the dev left. Oh, oh, oh there, there she is. There. Oh. I think. I don't know when anything releases. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. No worries. I understand also the devs and the admins have to be very quiet about things. It's completely understandable. I remember making a suggestion to have, like, testers as a role, and some people like it. I think one of the people who's on... Who's re either retired or on break thought it was a good idea. I think Rhea. Thought it was a good idea. Yeah, there are ads in the stream, uh, so maybe that could be why. And we're still streaming. We're still streaming. Uh, you know, it'd be cool if like if the if like this game, this beta game, does content creators. <coughs> Me. <coughs> I will help out. <clears throat> yeah, if y'all guys could, like, um, if y'all Wings of Fire betas, y'all know, y'all need a official content creators. <clears throat> help. <clears throat> me. <clears throat> so, yeah. I'm being honest, I'd love to help. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> Contact me. <clears throat> There's no set release date for whoever is asking. There did the stream break? Um, wait, did the stream break? Hold on. Has the stream broke for me? It's still going. There is lag, yeah. There is lag. That's YouTube for ya. Lux's OC gives me an idea because I I never thought <gasps> to oh, put no, no. the colors like that. And I have a uh, what's it called? A silk wing in similar pattern. So I might actually transfer it over to my Oh, got a cute downside picture with Lux and the other dragons. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. It played back. My mud wing, but I'm sure the server is full. Oh my gosh. Oh, there we go. I got a good picture. Oh. oh. I got and uh, I got another good picture. Leaf wings are one of the smaller tribes, so it's actually going to be wild. Sorry, what? Uh, leaflings are on the smaller side of tribes, so like, if I bring out a mudwing, the ringing is gonna look truly tiny. Lux is gonna look truly tiny. I'm gonna get a another pick. If y'all want a pick, come and get in the line. And get some pictures. Ooh, I- now I got an idea. Oh, what's that? Uh... Should we discuss it on stream since it has to do with the GMB's announcement? Um, I mean, if you want to, because I mean, if you want to or not, because I know you're gonna be taking over for Arc Two and all that. Uh huh. If you want. It has to do with uh, Wings of Fire beta. It's like, I mean, hmm, it, since just sitting in Discord could be kind of boring, I guess. Yeah, I mean, your choice. It's all up to you. Let's see. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get a good- okay. Stay still, guys. Extra. Stay still. Oh, no, I, that- that wings. Okay. The high-pitched rain wing roar. There we go. Okay, there we go. Alright. There we go! Okay, there's one picture. I'm gonna get another one now with y'all sitting down. Okay. There we go. And another picture. Perfect! <laughs> Oh, look at y'all. I'll be sure to post the pictures in the Wings of Fire Discord. The only thing I'm waiting for is for accessories to come out, but I'm pretty sure they announced accessories are coming out with the kingdoms, so we're not getting accessories for a while. Right, yeah. And also, if y'all guys want to take pictures, y'all can too. So, yeah. There's so many dragons. Look at everyone's dragons. Oh, so gorgeous. 
Step gorgeous. Snap it. Photo bombing massacre. I can't sit still, it's a problem. Everyone's dragons are just so gorgeous. Oh, this poor uh uh leaf wing is glitched. Just doing the modeling walk. Ha 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 stay alive, stay alive. <laughs> no cults <laughs> Lux is like <laughs> obviously yeah, no cults. Yeah, n yeah, let's not have murder cults. There is a, a good friendly one. And then there's the most common not so good ones. Let's not do that. I'm gonna sound so oddly specific, but the name Lux reminds me of a city on a foreign moon that's inhabited by wolves. Huh? Wait, what? I'm, I'm referencing a game. I'm referencing the name Lux reminds me of a city on a far off moon from a game that's inhabited by wolves. What? Um, okay. Ugh. Yeah, oddly specific, but it's funny. I, I'll stop. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sitting there like, it's like, it's almost like one of those like very crazy dreams you get and then you wake up and you're like, what was I dreaming? Guys, can we not break the rules? Yeah, let's not break the rules, please, because we have a, a literally an admin here. I, I, I don't want to get canceled, please. <laughs> please, I don't want to get canceled. It's getting harder for me to talk because my throat's a bit sore. Oh, I'm sorry to hear. Oh, look at everyone. I really can't wait till we get the age dragon reference thing, cause ah, I'm excited for that. Yeah, you can see the uh, height difference if you look uh, between Lux and this uh, Rainwing next to her, or them. Sorry, I mispronounced. Um, you know, you can tell the difference. Let's see if we have any more questions. Again, questions are in the description, uh, Q&A, if you have a question. Let's see. Right, let me, hold on one second. Uh, I get a glimpse of what's called Lux's OC. I, I get ideas for a way I can revamp my own. Oh, yeah. I have two colors that I can think of since summer's coming up. Yeah, I'm sorry. The stream is behind. I'm sorry about that, guys. Can't really do anything about it. You two can be something. Although, I am thinking about doing, like, those uh, cross-streaming things where I can stream uh, at the same time on both YouTube, Twitch, and TikTok. I just need to figure out uh, how to do it. Oh, yeah, there's- oh, yeah, there's a glitch with the tree thing. Oh, are you talking about, like, the summoning of the tree thing, or...? I don't know. It's more so that Raymond gets stuck in trees. I'm sure they already know. Oh, yeah, you must have saw the beginning of the stream, uh, Lux, when I uh, 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 spawned in a tree. <laughs> There's that one. Um, let's see. Question here is, do you think it would make sense for Nightwings to be able to project... Oh, pro ugh, let me read that again. Do you think it would make sense for Nightwings to be able to project thoughts in someone's mind? I'm pretty sure they can already do that, but only to other. Yeah, actually, uh, I don't know. But... It's hard to say because Dark Dark in Darkstalker's prequel book, Clear Sight isn't a mind reader. She just has very good foresight, but there's actively scenes where um they're talking to each other. In yeah. Their minds alone. So I'm not sure about it. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Unless we get like a confirmed thing from Thule. I mean, if they had the powers, yeah. Um, oh no, please, let's not do the yawn thing. Guys, I'm gonna yawn too! Um. Help up, help up. You're not the only one who's yawning. Oh, why, guys? Oh. <sighs> um, which dragon uh, would you be if you could be one? Not you too, Lux! 
<laughs> which uh, which dragon uh, would you be if you could be one? Also, I am the one who asked okay, the Nightwing yeah, one, and it meant the ones that had the powers. Um. So, which dragon would it be if I could be one? Um. Honestly, that's a really good question. No, guys. No, you're gonna make this a meme. Oh. Dang it. Um. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> it sounds more like moaning than yawning at this point. <laughs> oh, no. Question was, if you were... You could be with, uh, one of the dragons from Lucifer, which would you be? Honestly, Mudwing. Like, guaranteed Mudwing, just because of how wholesome they are, and it, it's like the safest option. I have no use for Rainwing Venom. I don't see a use for Fire Breath. Honestly, I'm torn between either a Sea Wing or um, a Rainwing. But honestly, if I could be a dragon, actual dragon, I would be my OC Splash, which is my uh, Sea Sky Hybrid. So yeah, there's yeah. Wait, Splash is Sea Sky? I never, I always thought Splash was pure Sea. No, she's she sees. Uh, if you look at her um, OC, I'm gonna draw her official OC pretty soon. Um, she has some bit of some bit of Skywing quality. Yeah. I've only ever made a two hybrids, a Night Sea and a Sky Mud. Yeah, I've seen those two. Oh, I scared. Oh my god, I can't see my body. Ugh. Ugh. Vine wants to see less, but can't because I'm sad. Do you have a main wings for OC? I could maybe. Wait. Maybe draw? Dang, having a main OC would be really nice. Well, I do have a main, it's Splash. Um uh, I would have to get on her, but I'm but Lux, I am actually gonna be drawing her official um Oh oh wait, I broke again to be answered. I can't hear. It's okay. Um technically I won't be making the official drawing of Splash, like her full body one, um, pretty soon. I'm trying to get like some videos for the month of April done on my channel before I um really set out. I'm actually thinking of some plans uh, for the channel for the summer. Like, you know, now with the whole Wings of Fire beta thing, you know, starting to become updated and taking, you know, now we're getting some development actually done with the game. I'm thinking about maybe starting a um, editing team, perhaps. Like, whenever I do, like, meme videos and stuff, I may um, ask the fans to join me in some of them. <clears throat> and um, probably some other ideas. So, um, yeah. It is gonna... I'm thinking of some ideas, but I am going to be planning this month of April. I'm going to be doing um, art stuff. Uh, that being my Willow Hearts OCs um, and and Splash and Willow Heart emojis and some content based on my Feral Heart series. Leaf Roar is a distorted audio of a woman uh, screaming. Yeah! Uh, speaking about that, it sounds like it's laughing. Very creepily. I've heard the it's not as crazy as a laugh as the sparkling growl. Yeah. Sparkling growl sounds just like a high unit. Oh my gosh. So if you want to start growling, go ahead. Oh, now I'm gonna turn down the sound a little. Sorry. I can barely hear. Hold on. Where's my phone? Oh, there it is. There we go. Sorry, guys. Now I can't hear y'all's yawn. <laughs> there we go. Do you have to answer if you... Wait. Do you have to answer if you had a main OC I could draw? Um, sorry, I turned down... I Sorry, I turned down my sound, so you should be able to hear me better now. Yes. Um, I Like I said, I am going to be drawing um, a more of a better OC design of her. So I will pretty much let you know, Lux. You'll see it on my channel when I have it up. Let me know if you heard that. I don't know if the stream is messing up or not. Ooh, okay, now she heard me. Okay, good, good, good. But yeah, when it comes up, yeah, I'll show. Yeah, I'll show it when I have it up. Um, I'll post it on the channel. I even share it on the Wings of Fire Discord too, so you'll see it. 
how did you guys make the Rainwing audio? Ooh, that's a good question. I kind of want to know too. Let's see. We at the beach. Uh, oh, excuse me. Yeah, I'm kind of curious how uh, the rain wing sounds were made. I genuinely don't know what the rain wing one is. All I know is told once I forgot, though. It's okay. I mean, I know some people the use... Design is always so cool. Yeah, like, I know some people use Audacity for a lot of their, kind of like, their vocal, um, vocal manipulation and stuff. So I wouldn't be surprised if they used Audacity. You know, I had a friend help me make, like, a, um cover song for from one game of two wings of fire characters but i don't have sprites or a picture to go with it so i just have a the audio file sitting around and i think it sounds great right yeah i actually helped sound design uh for this animated show that's actually on youtube called load aim and burn i don't know if you if any Ooh. of you guys have seen it but um, I actually did the first episode, which is actually out at probably 50k views. Um, Asha Parda. Yeah, it's been out for a long time. I've heard of that. Oh, you have? Yes, Lux. Yes, I actually ate it in the sound effects for that department for that episode. And I'll be aiding for the rest of the episodes. And speaking about that, episode two is in works and is actually almost done. I've, I actually get to see the behind the scenes of how it's edited and done. So, um, it's going really good. I'm not going to say too much because, um, spoilers, but, uh, it's, it's going to be coming out and it looks amazing. You guys are not going to be disappointed when load aim and burn episode two comes out. Um, Asha is very dedicated and passionate about that project. And so I'm really excited to be part of the team with aiding the sound designs. May my, probably my favorite scene, um, in that show to uh, do the sound design I don't want to spoil too much if those that haven't seen the um, the first one. Uh, but uh, my favorite scene would have to be where um, Asha is surrounded by some enemies and um, they use the power they use some kind of power like power spell things and I was able and I was it was fun to kind of like doing the sound effects for those sounds and then especially the part where she goes through the floor into the water. Oh, and the music with it makes it even better. That's like honestly my favorite. That's my favorite one. Oh, I love it. But yeah, check it out if you have not seen it. Um, let's see. I'm in a streamer here. Yeah, let's see. Uh, again, Q and A's in the uh, description. Be sure to check that out if y'all have a question. Um, how long will stream be? Nightshade milkshake. Um, the colorful purple silk wing on the left. I will probably be streaming for probably for another 30 minutes. Probably another 30 minutes or something. Let's see. Not my server, but this, uh, but this is Willahard. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding. If they actually made a server named Willahard, I'm going to die of happiness. Like... I will literally die of happiness if they actually made a server called Will of Heart. I will die. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there already is a server somewhere called Willow. Yes. Yeah, I've seen I seen a server named Willow, but um Willow Heart server though. <laughs> I need to search through the suggestions. One of the servers was named after a character from a different game. I forget which, but like uh I, when I was asked about it, someone said Blame Bizzle. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So now I'm curious. Yeah, I'm kind of curious about the two, because it would be kind of cool uh, if you if you could request a server, because honestly, <clears throat> I, would, I would love to play a Willow Heart server. <clears throat> I'm going to cry. I love Willow Heart. Oh, don't cry. I hope it's happy chat. cries. Since when did Mudwing start mewing? I never knew what mewing is. Mewing? I looked it up. Mewing? I what? It, it's like a trend or something to make you look like you have a defined jawline, I think. I don't even know what it really is or how you do it or what it is. Mewing? What? Mewing? Okay, I really need to know this. <laughs> Mewing. <laughs> Form of oral posture training purported to improve jaw and facial stru- Yeah. 
Yeah, I think the the dev should be. I think the dev luck should be right back shortly. Good. Oh my the gosh. Is like kind of how you say full. Yeah, full. But I'm sure admins kind of have a little sneaky way of getting in. Last Saturday afternoon, we danced on the beach, and then admin joined. And oh, I didn't catch the rest. What is the first dragon to get its first hatching? I don't know. I'm not a dev, but I'm Lux. Oh, here's Lux. Wait. Okay, I'm, I'm back. I'm not a dev, but I'm Lux. There's Lux on her character. Nice. Where? Right next to me. Oh. Yeah, they're an admin. Yeah, because I think if you... Let's see. Is it... Oh, wait. Oh, oh. Wait, hold on. I mean, unless those, those are my friends, those little check marks probably. I don't know. The devs have like a like a building icon. Is that correct or something? I think. I put baby Rainwing away. I you out baby. Oh, she out it. She just kick it out of the house. <laughs> She's like, you done. You done, Nix. Oh, look at everyone. There's so many. Let's see if there's any more questions. <laughs> baby right wing in the basement. Yeah. <laughs> baby. Yeah, the baby's in the basement. Let's see. Next questions. Oh, oh God. Oh no. Say this question. <laughs> why? Um, why? I'm just to protect you, person. I'm not going to say your name because if I say your name, you're going to get massacred. Um, well, what is with these people? Um, what are your thoughts if an enemy had to marry Whirlpool? Listen, person. You need Jesus. And second, secondly of all, um, I'm not going to answer that question. <laughs> I'm not going to answer that question. No, I am not. So um, we're just going to toss that question into hellfire. We're not going to look at it again. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay? Good. That was my... Why would you say that? No. 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 No, no, dude, no, what have you done? What have you done? You, not my fault. Not my fault, you're gonna get targeted out. <laughs> oh god, no. Why, why? Oh, uh, why did you have to ask that question? All right, moving on. I don't know why you had to ask that question. All right, do we have another question? Not yet. Stop. Slurp the ch What is going on in the chat? Oh my gosh. Can we eat Willowheart? No! Please don't eat me! I would appreciate I'm just that. Right now, looking for a sound effect. I am recording Willow. Nice. Willow, they keep yawning. Well, guess what? I turned off the sound, so I won't hear it. <laughs> we are not eating baby dragonets. No, we will be babies instead. Oh, gosh. I have concerns for you guys. I really do have concerns for you guys. Willow, can I eat snow ki kits? But why? What is with you guys being cannibalism? I want to do baby war when the dragonets come out. <laughs> mm. 
you people? Do y'all need help? Why? <laughs> Welcome to my world, Lux. This is what happens when I, whenever I come in and do, um, whenever I do, um, streams. Oh yeah, speaking of Willowhard Club, we actually have a Willowhard Reading Club in the Discord community, which, by the way, it's in the description. So if you guys want to come out and join with me and the gang, including joining our Willowhard, uh, Reading Club, uh, check out the description. Uh, we have our Discord community link in there. Willow, I have a Wings of Our Color book. Nice. Well, here's the thing. If personal, that's about personal spaces. When it comes to me in this game, no, there's no such thing as personal space. If I, uh, if I, let, let me show you. If I move over here, I bet you people are going to start swarming me. Wait for it. Wait for it. Ooh, by the way, that's a that's a beautiful design. That's a that's a oh wait, hold on, I gotta see this. Ooh, that's a beautiful design. You got a beautiful coloring. See, see, I'm swarmed again. So what happens? That's what happens. I'm swarmed again. What's personal space? Yes. What is personal space? Yeah, it's unfortunate. There's no <laughs> such thing as personal space when I'm here. Nope. Nope. Ooh, I nope. just noticed Lux has a brown skywing. I always adore brown skywings. Yes. I never see them. I'm glad I still have one. That's good. Willow, what is pers so much green? Yes, there is so much green. The only orangey brown here in a leaf wing. Yes. Riptide or Deathbringer? Uh, what are we talking about? Is in like strength or what I like like? Cause I don't know. I'm confused. Uh, I I think it maybe it's either their ship or I don't know. Deathbringer, one hundred percent. People like Deathbringer more than Riptide because Riptide kind of fades into the background after Arc Two. Yeah, and, and I'm sorry to the Riptide fans, but he's kind of bland. Like, not bad, Bland. I just feel like if he had some more development to his character, you know what I mean? Am I perfect? If you're asking Willow about Book 14, uh, Willow most likely does not know. Book 14 is very interesting, but I don't think it's filler. Mm. Since we get the... What's it called? The meeting between all the queens. <laughs> Rare Tab is like... What they should do. <laughs> Riptide is like that one aesthetic surfer Australian too. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that's funny. That's funny. I love book 14 it. 14 was not a bad book. It's just more ice wing books. That's my only issue. Mm hmm. Um, that is exactly how I see him. Uh, I love it. Thank you. Thank you for that. That was beautiful. Um, let's do a... No, we're not going to do a um, fashion show. Not now, because the last time we tried to do a fashion show, uh, we've been getting trolls. And people were not following simple instructions, which made things more chaotic than it needed to be. So, uh, yeah, not this time. <laughs> I wouldn't have a relaxing stream. Maybe next time. Maybe next time. We need a Riptide book. Yeah, I feel like if Riptide had his own book, which kind of shows a little bit more of his character, maybe I would actually like him more. Especially with the kind of the whole, like, why Tsunami had a crush on him. We actually have confirmed what the next Winglet book is, I think, and it's more so hinted to as to what Tui said. The next Winglet book might be between Stone Mover and Thorn. Oh, interesting. Well, you know, we need we need a book of. You know what we need a book about more of. Mudwings. Obviously. 
Wait, wait, we need some, we need some Mudwing love. Yeah, we need some Mudwing love. That's why there's an emote of it in the server. Yeah. We need a, we need a plain clear sight book. Mudwings need lovin's though. Mudwings are underrated, yep. I want another Rainwing book. Another Oh, the one thing Tui has said that has pissed off so many people is that King Kaji will never get her own book. Yeah, I can see why. <laughs> people love King Kaji. Remember she's Yeah, she said that King Kaji as a character is perfect where she is and she doesn't need more character development. Yeah, I can see why people would be upset about it. I can see that. Oh yeah, right, cause Sky and Peril haven't met yet. In the books at least. Yeah, Sky and Peril, yes. Sky and Peril definitely need to meet. Um I made an OC in the game that has Ash scales, but nobody really knows what it is because most people in the game haven't read up to book fourteen. A Willhart book? Uh speaking of, you know, that'd be kinda cool if Tuli made a Wings of Fire book with a character named Willahard in it with Splash. Or maybe not Willahard, but the character named Splash. Um, I would I would love that. Tuli's welcome to talk to you about that if she wishes. <laughs> if she wishes. That's actually wild. Um, if she wishes. But speaking about Willahard book, I am working on a potential series. Um, I've been a little behind. Sorry, a, a lot has been kind of going alone in real life that I had to deal with. But, um... One of them, um, this book series I'm thinking about working on, or is going to be in the works, is going to be a book series called Feral Heart. And I am actually working on that series. Um, I am more working on this lore book, but once that's out, that should easily help me out how I'm going to map the story. Like, I'm still thinking about whatever to start with Will Hard Friends in that series, or do something a little different where I start at the beginning, and then kind of like... Well, in the beginning, more like talk about the like the lore history of Feral Heart with the kind of like the first characters like um Amar uh, like Amar like Amardo yeah like establishment yes that's the word like establishment kind of book you could say and then have a little arc with that one and then have a um another arc that's like closer to the present time with Willow Heart but it was before Willow Heart's birth. And then, then it'll be like to Willow Heart and Friends with Fang and stuff. So I'm thinking about doing something like that so it can kind of help me kind of like build the story to make the Willow Heart and Friends uh, storyline more clear in a sense. Like, it, like, yeah, it's like I kind of have a bit of a more idea I want to go at the beginning than currently right now with Willow Heart and Friends. So for now, I'm just kind of like brainstorming and putting it together before, you know, that comes out. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember I was discussing with a friend, I have so many Wings of Fire role-playing hot takes that are hotter than Peril herself. <laughs> That's a good one. I love it. It's like, hotter than Peril. I hunted if I mentioned it, and it's ma mainly because it's just criticism. I really like Winter as a character. Is a, is a pretty good character. Mm -hmm. I heard the same thing too. We of our role play hot take. School role plays are boring. That's not a hot take. That's real. Yeah. What is your hot take? Ooh, mine? Are you sure? <laughs> Do it! Uh, I just have a genuine distaste for fan tribes. I can oh, kind of see it. Yeah, don't get me wrong. They're cool. But, like, how do I put this? The amount of fan tribes I've seen that are borderline overpowered is wild. Yeah, I've I've seen a couple of those, too. And I'll just, you know, just I just sit there reading them. And I'm like, wow, that's a lot. When, uh, when you own five fan tribes... Just that fan tribes give me a sour taste in my mouth. Hybrids are, it's, this kind of extends to hybrids, but mainly certain kinds of hybrids, especially if the hybrid has an overabundance of powers, as I'll say. 
uh, that people are doing the hot takes. Um, my hot take on Wings of Fire. Wings of Fire needs to collaborate with Warriors. How would that work? The, the, it's cats against dragons. The cats would be destroyed easily. Well, I wouldn't say destroy, more like work together. Like, I'm sure that it would be pretty wild. It would be pretty wild if... Because if you think about it, the Arthurs of... Oh, the Arthur of Warrior Cats and the Wings of Fire, they have worked together. Like, Tuli T. Sutherland used to work with the Wings of Fire... I mean, with the Warrior Cats team before she left to create the Wings of Fire series. So... The idea of that is not far off if she ever wanted to do the idea, but I think that's going to be impossible because they live in two different universes. But if they ever did like a test fan theory of that, it would be pretty interesting. It would be. Uh, let's see the Q and A. Let's see what we got. Um, I know you haven't read the third arc yet, but do you think Sora, Umber, or Sky have been the protags of Book Fifteen? This is brown and green teal leaf wing next to you, by the way. Um, I don't know, because I didn't read past book three. Sorry. So, um, I don't really know how to answer that question. What was the question? I'm just listening to the music in the background. Um, I know you haven't read the third arc yet, but do you think Sora, Umber, or Sky have been the protags of book 15? Sora, Umber, or Sky... Is book 15... That was Luna, if I remember. I guess it's like if they um sh uh, should be one of the protags, perhaps, maybe. I think. Uh, Umber and Sora just stopped existing after book six, so I would say Sky is a pretty good one to say. So. POV winter. A little cranky. Yeah, <laughs> I can could... hear that in the back. Oh yeah, I did hear a little winter and. Uh, Kibley having too much romantic tensions for book f for five books straight. I haven't seen a lot of like the whole Winter and Kibley, um, the whole Kibley fan art between those two. Like, I haven't really read the books, but is that really true? Do they really have tensions like that? Mostly, yeah. Was Tuli thinking about making them gay at first for each other, but then it got changed to where Kibley ended up with uh, Moonwatcher? I don't think they're gay. I think they're bi, that's all. Yeah. Like, was she trying to, like, consider doing that before she changed her mind? Like, I'm kind of curious, because if there was tensions of between those two, like, and then all suddenly it's Moonwatcher, like, I'm kind of curious now about that. Like, I'm in her mind. Here. Yeah. It doesn't start that way. Wings for a hot take. I do not like the quinter ship. I don't see it. Based. Very based. I don't see ships in general because uh, I, I, I can't say it. Someone's like, get out! <laughs> Someone did not take that very well. Don't, let's not harass people now. Oh, I think the de I think the admin left. Oh well, or is she next to me, or did the admin left? All right, I'm about to be. We'll be uh, closing the stream here shortly. But if you have any questions, again, be sure to type out uh, your questions um, in the Q and A session session, please, because I'll be uh, closing the stream here shortly. Let's see. There's a. Uh, who do you think is the worst death in Wings of Fire? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, boy. Oh, boy. It, for what I've seen, uh, based on my lemon knowledge, that will be how Kest uh, how uh, Blister killed Kestrel. Oh, it's death. I thought it was dad. You I thought it was dad in Wings of Fire. I, I was like, oh, worst dad in Wings of Fire opens book. Oh, boy, this is going to be a long time. <laughs> I mean, we could we could say we can answer that one next, but um, the worst death, Ooh. or or the dragons that pearl peril melted. Yeah, there's that too. But honestly, if you think about it, the way Blister killed Kestrel, like think about. It. I mean, okay, I'll say this. I think the I think the graphic novel is going a little too far with the idea of like a a. a 
Stinger have an ability to slash through body like scales and bones just to get to the other side like that. Like I think that might I think be. She used a sword, not a stinger. No, I no, in the graphic novels, it was a stinger. Was it? I was sure it was a sword last time. No, it's a, it's a it's a stinger. It's a stinger. Oh. That's why people in the comments of that the comments of that graphic novel dub were like, what? The most graphic death I have to say might be Arctic's. Oh yes, I I read the death I read the uh, the uh, d d death bring I mean Deathbringers not Dog Stalker I read the Dog Stalkers uh, book of that one yeah I agree that one's really dark like oh the, kind of, the funniest death has got to be Vultures just because there was no blood nothing he just stopped existing and I quote. He just got control all deleted. <laughs> exactly. It's her stinger, yeah. Okay, I was right. It was her Yes, I was right. Thank you. Yes, it was her stinger that killed uh Kestrel in the graphic novel. Go to the wiki and look up Vulture, because I'm sure he's He didn't die, he just stopped existing. In quotes. Yeah. Wait, he's a no no he's not alive. Hmm? The wiki says he's still alive. Where is it? When Dark Stalker tried to convince Kibu to become Animus and work with him, he used to teleport Vulture in front of him. Dark Stalker then enchanted Vulture many times, including to make him act like a hatchling, make him feel guilty for everything he's done, and make him the best grandfather for Kibu. Dark Stalker then made Vulture disappear. It's unknown what <laughs> happened to him after that. Control odd delete. <laughs> Someone make, really a meme. Someone make a meme. Someone make a meme of that. Someone make a meme of that. Just be like Doc Starker Vulture and be like Control Alt Delete. Please, I would love to see that. You know what I would love to see? Willow Heart animatics. Like whenever we do streams and stuff, we need to see some animatics. Please, I will. I will do reactions of those. Like please. Please make them send it to me. I will. I will love on them. I, I need to. I need to have. I need I to have my. A meme in the Discord. I just posted a meme in the Discord. Oh, oh gosh, hold on. Let me see. <laughs> POV Dog Star Guard Vulture. Yes. Yes. This. That's what happened. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. Not Willowheart Studios, it's just Willowheart. No, just Willowheart. There is no studio. Yeah, I know. I got rid of the word studio um, a while back, mainly because I'm not oh, doing Phoenix like. Phoenix just joined. Phoenix? The server. Yeah, Phoenix just joined the server. Phoenix! Come and join us. There we go. Uh, Phoenix! Okay. Oh, you missed it. We had a crazy fun stream. I mean, the admin came and joined us for a bit. Damn, I missed it. She was this tiny. She was a tiny. She was a tiny rain wing. It was so cute. I took some pictures. I'll show it to you. Oh, good. Because now I'm disappointed that I missed it. So it's chanting your name. Oh, I've, I've already got people in the chat. They're like, name. they're like Phoenix. Phoenix. Come on, chant with me, guys, in chat. Phoenix. Phoenix. Phoenix, 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 come on in! Yep. I am Sakura, the leaf wing. I'm on my leaf wing too, where are you? Uh, I'm in the crowd, where are you? I'm, uh, I'm jumping. Oh, I see you in there. There you are! Oh, hi! Oh, gorgeous! You're pink! I'm sitting outside the crowd, I'm bright, I'm bright orange-ish. Yeah, he's right over here. I'm pointing my screen at him. Oh. Uh, now people are chanting like crazy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Phoenix is right here. <laughs> well, I'm jumping high. How, how am I jumping high? Oh my gosh. Wee! I'm... Wee! Wee! Yeah, Wee! Sometimes, sometimes it's like a, like a double jump. Yeah, we have double jump. Why do we have double jump? Like, I'm kind of curious. Because we can jump. We can jump higher than most people. Wee! Oh, okay. <laughs> Everyone's spamming my name. Yeah, because my my YouTube thing was lagging, so um people kind of responded late to it. I, I, I was like, ah, I'm on this server. The YouTuber's on. Yep. 
Phoenix. Uh, I'm over here, everyone. I am. I'm. I'm the sort of like beigeish pink leaf wing. Yeah, this one right here. Our arson queen. <laughs> arson queen, yas. And back is a mud wing, just for for size showing. Welcome back. <laughs> oh God, someone's someone's smelling me. Smells. <laughs> They're probably like, it's like, do you smell good? <laughs> Please don't spam. They're already spamming. Now they know the admin's gone. Let's not spam, please. Yeah, let's not. Somebody's eating the willow. Oh, gosh. No, I, you can't eat me. You can't eat the phoenix. No, I don't taste good. I taste like charcoal. Yes, I do have the scent of arson. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's, it's my new cologne. <laughs> this the this cologne said called arson. No, this is called uh, the death of my enemies. Leaf wings uh, double jump when running. Hold on, is it true? Oh yeah! Wow, it's uh, weird. What is? It? Is this like a wow? Wow. Okay. Um, maybe it's a glitch they were probably working on or something. But wow, I did not realize this. Now where do we do jumble jumps? Why? Well, Phoenix, where are you? Too, I'm the mud wing one. Why? All right, I see you. I'm right here. Yeah, she's right here. The, let me try to find flat ground. Just look. Uh, I remember saying that the leaf wings are small. Yeah. If I just sit down here and just sit next to me and look how small the leaf wings actually are, kind of are. We're so skinny. Yeah, we're skinny. I yeah. I remember even making a joke. It's like, look at my talons compared to yours. My talons are huge. <laughs> well, yeah, mud wings are like pretty strong and buff. Like. They're pretty much kind of like made thick grippers. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, did Tuli kind of like made the mud wings kind of like after the ideas of the alligators? Yeah, mud wings so. are based off of crocodiles. Night yeah, wings off of Komodo dragons. Rain wings are chameleons. Sand wings are scorpions. Sky wings are regular dragons. Ice wings, I don't know, and sea wings are sea wings. I hope they keep it as cool. Yeah, the double jumps, maybe because we're lighter. Nah, because I joined, uh, like, a server at one point as, like, another dragon, and I was also double jumping. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I should have joined the server as, um, as my Leafwing Skywing hybrid. There we go. You know, so, you know, I've been noticing when I look at these, uh, these models for the, uh, Leafwings, they seem to be a little bit more upgraded when it comes to their running and their flying. Like, it's more cleaner. I don't know if it could be the idea of they're testing out some animations <laughs> that they may give to the other dragons, perhaps. The other tribes. Uh, next, Possibly. The next, what's it called, remodel co is confirmed to be Skywings, so... Oh, so the Skywings are gonna get remodeled. Nice. Be excited, Skywings. You're gonna get remodeled. It's been Hopefully a while they don't get taken down announced. for, you know, years, again, like the Mudwings did. Yeah, they took it down for a long time. Well, that, well, all the, not only the, kind of like the whole devs thing, they lost a good number of devs because of in real life, which is understandable, but they had to deal yeah. with the, uh, the, um, the copyright thing with Thule. Yep. And Thule does not want this game gone, which I'm actually grateful for that. Um, which, yeah, I'm grateful for that, because she likes it. Yeah, so... So they had to make it a free game. Which I kind of feel bad yeah, for the people that are, like, working so hard. Yeah, which I kind of feel bad for the people that are, like, I mean, yes, I understand why it would be copyright, because, you know, it's Thule's, you know, you know, st story and everything. But at the same time, it's like, people are, like, working on this game, like, they're developing lands. Story they're de is copyright, I think, but... Wings of Fire itself isn't just because of how broad the talking dragons type of thing is. You can't copyright something that's that broad. Yeah, but I think or it's like the base of the tribes. Wings of Fire isn't. Yeah, the tribes, I think, but I don't know. Yeah, Worry Cats the won. Copyright is weird. Yeah, the Worry Cats won because remember, because uh, Little Sheep Studios, or I think that's what they're called, they did like their own kind of 2D animation, uh, not 3D animation for the Worry Cats, which is pretty good and has hit like a million views. 
but warrior yeah, cats you referenced it in a short yeah but uh warrior cats yeah i did reference a short but uh the warrior cats team did not really like it so they allowed them to keep that episode out but they can't make any more which is so stupid in my personal opinion that is so unfortunate like why the potential in this like why like i'm like i'm like warrior cats this is your opportunity to get more fame and attention. They see this works. So they can go and buy your books. Uh, hello. I, I don't know. That that's just Someone me. Someone wants to kidnap me. Don't kidnap I'm Phoenix. I'm hungry. I shall the, never be kidnapped. The person it's who has impossible. been kidnapped and lived to tell the tale is me. <laughs> yeah. I only <laughs> kidnap my sister. Friend. I can only kidnap my sister. Her and uh, her boyfriend Cash. It's impossible to for me to be kidnapped. Anyone oh, who tries to kidnap me just gets burned. Oh, I just climbed on this tree. Wow. Hello. How, how am you I climbing? Over there. Yeah, I'm climbing on this tree. How did I? Oh, I just climbed the tree. Let me come kick you out of the tree like I do in Talons of Destiny. <laughs> I'm in the tree now. We we're in the tree. We are in the tree. <laughs> we are just in the tree. Everyone in the tree. Let's just let's become the tree. Yep, everyone get in the tree. While you guys do that, I'm gonna rain wing. You're gonna rain wing. <laughs> she he's Teek's getting on the rain wing. Willow, can I eat Phoenix? Ooh. No. Under. No. Hey, Phoenix. Let's just no. let's just be glad that Cash is not on this stream because you know how thirsty people were for Cash. Yeah, yeah, I Maybe do. Because he sounds like Darkstalker or something. Yeah, he's got a very deep voice. No, it was a Deathbringer. No, Darkstalker. Yeah, you're right, Darkstalker. So he's people being sexy voice. So people were being stalkers for him, huh? Da -da. huh? Get it? <laughs> <laughs> Why you on? Why you on the tank tree? Because why not? Why, why you, not? Why aren't you in the tree? Yeah, join us. Why aren't you in the tree? Yeah, yeah why aren't you in the tree? Yum. We're just chilling. If we're, we're just gonna come over here and sit by the beach with my rain wing. I'm sure people are taking pictures of this. Yeah, take pictures, folks. Y'all could send these pictures on the uh, Wings of Air Discord, whatever. Well, are you sure? Do Splendor's colors to match what's it called? Lux's colors, because that was a cool idea. People are like, Willow, are you sure I can't eat Phoenix? Can we commit Austin? <laughs> Can we commit Austin? <laughs> I'm sorry, what's Austin? It's Austin is a um is a city in Texas. Which by the way, I'm from uh, Texas. Yeah. I was just supposed to say, is the autistic version of arson. Probably. I don't know how that would look. It was just arson. Is it just arson? Oh, I guess. I uh... Can I live in Phoenix's basement? <laughs> Joke's on you. I live in the basement. <laughs> oh my god, I blame my autocorrect. Yeah, they were saying Austin. Get on to Creature the scenario and try the new April creature. It looks so cute. Oh yeah, I'm dev probably um because I am. Yeah, I'm probably no, gonna do. It. Yeah, I'm gonna get it because I could just. just... It with Robux. <laughs> yeah, I could just do is I could just go to the trade world, ask for a full missions uh full missions um token, you know, and then just are selling them for like three k. Those yeah, tokens? Oh it's, psh, yeah, yeah, it's insane. Well, yeah, because people are using them to buy to get the April creature. That's why yeah. the price is going up. So I'm Nobody probably going to get in the trade wants realm. To spend a whole week. Yeah, exactly. So I'm probably going to get in the trade realm and just buy it and then just get it. Willow, can I kidnap this person that keeps knocking on my door? Don't take this out of context. What? Take it so out of context. Yeah. yeah I approve. <laughs> Willow, I got to go. Can I get a picture? I'll get on the ground. Uh, we're going to wrap up the stream anyway. So, uh... Here, I'll be over yeah. here. Y'all uh, come- The Arson Queen didn't get to be in here very long. I know! Where have you been? I was at Boston Pizza and Moose Jaw. Ooh, yummy. That sounds 
delicious. Yeah, that menace fan art is very cool. Yeah, I got I got uh, mac and cheese. There's like four cheese. Mac so and cheese. wow, that's Verdant Warden fan art that I absolutely adore. Ooh, that's very ooh, this Leaf Wings design is brown is gorgeous. I like that. No, we're not yawning. Huh? Stop yawning. Okay, earlier people were spamming the yawn thing, and me and T kept yawning. We couldn't stop yawning. Uh, so. Fuck, no, I'm yawning. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Why? Now right, because one of the quests, you have to steal eggs. I almost forgot about that. Because there's fan art that's just... Steal the scenario fan art that's a puff bump stealing an egg. Mm. All right, guys, get y'all's pictures. All right, I got a couple pictures out. Get your pictures in. Yeah, get your pictures. I want the cheese. All right, half wing. Can you move out of the way so people can uh, get the pictures? Everyone say arson. Get in line for pics. All right. Dang it, why is this fan art so good? I got a good picture right there. Alright, perfect. Here's this picture. Oh, this is a good one. Person. Alright, I got this picture. So there's that one. I'll get one more. Alright, here we go. Ooh, I need a fan art. There we go. Got some good pics. Can I commit arson? <laughs> People, people be wanting the arson. Yes, approved. Approved. <laughs> there we I go. Got some pictures. I, I hope approve you... this message. We first time at Willow Stream. Yay! Welcome. I'm honored to meet you, Willow. Aww. Thank you guys for coming out. I'm gonna be playing a very medieval game. More streams coming soon. Plus content. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm currently opening Genshin Impact and Punkai Star Rail at the same time right now. Why? Because I need new bullet. I'm probably I don't so know. Why are you opening Star Rail? Because I have it downloaded too. <laughs> You subscribed? Oh, thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Really appreciate it. Yeah, we're going to have some fun game stuff coming out soon. Um, I will be making a an, um, poll soon for the next stream thing that you guys can vote on. So that will be coming out um, probably either today or the latest tomorrow. Um, let's see. we got some streams coming up. we got some games coming up. Um, I'm definitely going to have some... Creatures of Scenario content based on the new creatures that are coming, so you'll probably see some of content for those. Uh, Wings of Fire betas for sure, and um, a lot more to come. So I hope you guys are excited for the streams. I'm also thinking about um, doing some horse life content as well too, because um, I love horses, and that's a Scenario Studio game thing. Because I'm a content creator for them, so I'm going to be doing some content for them too when the time comes. So keep an eye on that one. I may. I may stream tomorrow. I'm not 100% confident if I'm going to stream tomorrow. Mainly because I want to start working on art for my Willow Heart emojis. Because I am bringing back the mini emoji shows. Which, if you guys have not seen them, check them out on the playlist. If you go to the playlist, you'll see my Willow Heart uh, mini emoji series that I've done. I'm thinking about bringing those back. I just need to revamp the Willow Heart emojis. Willow, pretty please can I evict the person living in my freezer? Yes, you can evict the person living in your freezer. I don't think that's good for the food. Willow, add me besties. I want to be your subbies. Yes, you can. If you actually look at the chat box uh, below, below the chat box, you'll see my Roblox. Use that. All right. Hold on. All right, we're gonna be um, we're gonna be ending the stream. Um, thank you guys again for coming out. Sorry, Phoenix, you kind of came in a little later, but there's always next time. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, we'll 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 see our we'll see our Phoenix arson um, in the next stream as well as Teak and many more to come. 
Uh, again, thank you I guys. I was still loved for the, uh, for the few seconds that I was in here. Yes, you did get some lovers. Yes, you did get some lovers, especially Chantra Phoenix and people wanting to kidnap you and people wanting to eat you. And, um, what is it with people wanting to people. kidnap me and eat me? I know. Why, why I is that? It. We must commit arson next stream. Oh, no. Yes. Approved. <laughs> Yes, we will can Phoenix approved. Yes, it's been Phoenix approved, guys. We'll we will do arson next stream. Especially if we do a creatures of Scenarian stream. We'll probably we'll probably do something like that. Yes, yes, yes. No, you can't eat Phoenix. I am Kindle now. <laughs> yeah, don't mess with the Kindle. Yes, let's not mess with the Kindle. All right, guys, we're gonna close off. Thank you guys for coming out, and we will see you guys next time. Toodaloo, my dears. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Bye.